Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many React Native developers encounter. Our viewer is looking for a simple way to build and deploy a debug APK without the hassle of switching ports or going through a full production release. The viewer's main concern is that existing documentation often focuses on either development mode or production builds. They want to create an appdebug.apk that anyone can use without running into errors related to bridges, event emitters, or app registry. They need a straightforward way to share their app for testing without the complications of switching ports or doing a full release every time. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's get on to the video. To create a debug APK for your React Native app, we need to modify the build configuration. This will allow us to generate an APK that can be shared for testing without the need for a full production build. Next, we will build the APK. Open your terminal and navigate to your project directory. Then run the following command to generate the debug APK. Once the build process is complete, you can find the generated APK in the following directory. This APK can be shared with others for testing. Now you can share the appdebug.apk file with your testers. They can install it on their devices without needing to switch ports or configure anything. Finally, remember that this debug APK will include debugging information. If you want to remove that, consider creating a release build when you're ready for production. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To build and deploy a debug APK in React Native, you first need to create a bundle for the debug build. Use the command provided to bundle your app. Next, Navigate to the Android directory and run the Gradle command to create the debug build. Your APK will be located in the Outputs directory. You can find it at Android Apps Outputs APK. If you encounter bridge problems, you can run these commands to resolve them. Alternatively, you can use these commands to manually fetch the bundle. Lastly, use ADB to reverse the TCP connection if needed. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To build and deploy a debug APK in React Native, you need to modify your build.gradle file. First, ensure you declare the necessary properties for bundling JavaScript and assets in both debug and release modes. Make sure to apply the react.gradle file correctly, adjusting the path based on your node module's location. 
Also, check that you have the ext properties defined with your app's package name in the parent build.gradle. Following these steps will ensure that the bundle is created successfully for all build types, allowing you to deploy your debug APK with ease. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To build and deploy a debug APK in React Native, consider using Expo or Create React Native App. First, install the Expo app on your iOS or Android device. Then, run your project to generate a link or QR code. You can share this link or QR code with anyone to access your app. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To build and deploy a debug APK in React Native, you can create a build variant that includes your RN code in the APK. First, use wget to grab the RN code and save it as bundle.js. Next, add the bundle.js file to the assets directory of your project. Then create a build variant in your build.gradle file to manage switching between local and live versions without manual changes. Now, point React Native to the bundle.js file using the generated build config. Finally, select the correct build variant and generate the APK by clicking Build and then Build APK. And that's it guys. We've gone through, I hope you found your resolution and found the answer you're looking for. If it helped, please hit subscribe, really appreciate it. And be on the lookout for more technical help videos. Have a good one.